Welcome back guys, we're back again with another WordPress tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how you can correctly resize images on your blogs or your WordPress site. If you haven't got yourself online already, check out Seekerhost. You can grab yourself a domain, a blog, a WordPress site, all of them super securely and easily. So with that, let's get on with the video. Now, of course, you're going to need to log into your WordPress dashboard here. If you're not um, able to already, if you haven't changed your URL slug, you can just do a forward slash WP dash admin there. Um, you don't need the index bit that that's just an extra part and it will just take you into your login You see if I take that bit away press enter It will just bring us back to our page Of course if you're not logged in it will bring you to your login page You can then proceed to log in now Let's get on with how to actually resize images on here So with that we're going to go to one of our pages. We're going to go to the home page uh, This is a pretty empty site. There's nothing really on it so far So we're just going to go to the home page and we're going to add an image Then we're going to resize the image to the size that we want it So let's go ahead here press the plus button and we're going to go to image so we're going to select the image block now you can either upload um, a new one you can use the media library or insert it from a url i'm going to use the media library because um, i have a picture in here however if you do want to upload it just head over to uploads select file and then select file out of your computer so now we've got our picture here there we go we've got it selected i've changed the alt text and title um, to the actual home page here this is always important for keywords if you're not sure what keywords are make sure to check out our tutorials we'll go over all sorts of seo tips and tricks so we're going to leave that as the food blogger right now which is the title for the home homepage. anyway so let's press select and we're going to be importing the image now this image has um, come up it's nice however it's a bit too big for our page we want to actually resize it so depending on what sort of block editor you have at the moment you can actually use this just to resize it manually so of course you can choose the left or the right size um, you would have had to crop it previously because it's going to stay at the same size just moving up and down to make it smaller um, also line alignment change the alignment i'm just going to put it in the center that's totally up to you now if you want to change it manually or a different way you can come down on the right hand side which are the block properties and we're going to go change it at the moment it's large we can also change it to medium and then we can also change it to a thumbnail size here if you want to resize it manually you can go from the width and height so let's say i don't want it to be um, this much width i want to change this to 800 I can simply type 800 um, and it'll change the width straight away. Let's change this to um, 200 and then we go. You can change it manually like that. If you want to change the percentages of the sizes, you can also use the 25%, 50%, 75% or 100%, which was the full size image. Uh, you can easily reset that by clicking that button there. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish it off by making it a little rounded off. Um, we can do a preview and just check out the image um, as a preview on the web page now. And there we go. It's uploaded nicely. One neat feature here as well is that it, it does it live as you do it. So if I keep clicking on here, you can see as it's getting bigger. So you don't have to keep previewing it as well. You can just see it live on your page and then go ahead and publish once it's all done just in case yours does not look like this or you're not using the same format that i'm using um, just look for the block settings here so you see when i click on the actual image here it's taking me to the block settings which will then give me my image size and stuff like that of course if you are using um, a different style of block editor might be a little bit different but essentially what you got to do is look for the block settings because it's all done in blocks here so obviously this image is one if i press this plus underneath it'll make a different block right here so if i do a gallery i can just click that and it will uh, upload the gallery there so thanks for watching guys for any more videos like this don't forget to check out the seeker host knowledge base we've got everything from helping you write a blog complete wordpress setup from start to finish including every part that you might need to get started with so we'll see you again next time on the next wordpress tutorial bye bye